Hey there, everyone. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and uh, wish everybody well. Uh, here at the Lamita Chamber of Commerce, we've got a lot happening this month and a lot happening in April and May, June, and July. So I just wanted to share with you all a few uh, items of note and some important dates that you might wanna make note of. Uh, first of all, if you haven't already seen or heard through our uh, social media posts and our email blasts, um, we're having our Leadership and Community Awards and installation event on April 21st. Uh, it is gonna be an online uh, program uh, however, we look forward to getting together in person for next year's event. But uh, what's really important about um, this week is that tomorrow, March 15th, is the deadline for submitting any nominations for our Leadership and Community Awards. So if you remember from last year, uh, it was a really fun event uh, that we did where we honored uh, local businesses, organizations, and individuals in our community for different things such as Community Champion, the Civic Award, Business of the Year, the Startup to Watch, uh, Volunteer of the Year for the Chamber and Ambassador of the Year for the Chamber as well. So we have several different categories. So we are open to seeing your nominations coming in. Uh, again, the deadline to submit a nomination is tomorrow, March 15th by 5 p.m. So go to the Chamber's website, lamitachamber.org, and you'll see a big link to submit your nomination there. So uh, it is open to anybody who'd like to nominate an individual or an organization uh, if they feel they're deserving. So give it some thought. It's not just a popularity contest. It really is about meaningful, thoughtful submissions on why you think they are worthy of getting the distinction and the award. And then we will announce the winners on the evening of April 21st at the installation and award ceremony. So nobody will know until that very night when we're all watching together. So that's item number one. Uh, the other items happening in March, you'll be getting some more information on this in the coming days and weeks ahead, but we do have scheduled a very important webinar for employers and small business owners out there. There are so many new laws that you really need to be aware of and how to implement these new changes and regulations that you're required to do. And this is for a business of any size. If you have as little as five employees, or if you have many more than that, uh, you have certain obligations that you need to do as an employer that are relatively new laws in the state of California. So this is a really great opportunity for you to ask the questions that you have, get clarity, clear up any confusion. There are required uh, retirement savings plans that you now have to offer to your employees. Uh, you are also required now to extend paid uh, sick leave for COVID sick leave through September, I believe, of this year. So there are still a lot of things out there that uh, I'm sure a lot of our employers may not be 100% uh, up to speed on. So again, this is your opportunity to ask your questions to the legal experts. We are excited to invite Deanne Chase and Scott Liner from Chase Law. And they are specializing in business law as well as employment law. So. Again, great opportunity to get those legal questions answered. So that's happening March 29th at noon. It's a webinar, it's online. So again, you can sign up through our website. This is free for chamber members. If you're a Lamita chamber member, there's no cost for you to attend. So uh, please do take advantage of this opportunity. One of the things we're trying to do this year is do more educational workshops, and this is one of them. So I hope you take advantage of this. On March 30th, the next day, we will be gathering in person at 5.30 at the South Bay Credit Union here in downtown Lamita at the corner of Narbonne and Lamita Boulevard. So you can grab a ticket for that too. The last time we had a mixer there at the South Bay Credit Union was probably about two years ago now, if I remember correctly. And I think it was probably about 75 people that showed up. So we had an excellent turnout. It's a great venue. It's a historic building. Uh, so really uh, make sure that you're there and you get a chance to network with your fellow chamber members and fellow businesses. Anyone's welcome. You don't have to be a member to attend. So grab your tickets for that. And the other thing that we have going on, April 1st, no joke, it's not April Fool's Day. April 1st is a really important date for the Chamber in terms of getting our sponsorships wrapped up for a few of our signature programs and events. So, as you see Lemmy behind me here, uh, Lemonade Day Lamita is happening again in July. On July 9th, in fact, this year, we bumped it up a month earlier. So, if you have any kiddos, 
who would love to go through this summer youth entrepreneur program, and it is a program. It's not just put up a stand and let's see what happens. There's a curriculum and everything that the chamber has invested in along with the support of its sponsors so that the kids have a chance to learn what it's like to run a business, to raise capital, to come up with a marketing plan. And the whole goal, if you were there last year, was for the kids to make some money, save some money, and give some money back. So. Um, Lemonade Day Lamita was fantastic last year, and so we hope to make it just as, as great as last year, but, but better and bigger. So registration's open for that. We're seeking sponsorships for Lemonade Day. We're also seeking sponsorships for our Health for All Ages. This is a health and wellness fair that's happening on May 1st at City Hall during the farmer's market from 10 to 2. Um, we have about 30 booths that are coming online that are related to health and wellness. So if you have a business in that space, it's a great opportunity for you to communicate and connect with the uh, local citizens and our residents. It's amazing the resources that we have in this health and wellness area, and we're honored to be working with several of our uh, partners through the chamber, including Torrance Memorial Medical Center. We have a number of health and wellness businesses here in our community, uh, our fitness centers, uh, all the things that go into keeping our healthy our, our community healthy. And, um, and thriving uh, is really the point of this, this fair. So our Health and Wellness Committee members are actively planning this, so you have a sponsorship opportunity there. And we have sponsorship packages that are all over uh, the range in terms of what kind of an investment you might be interested in making through your business to get some increased visibility or an opportunity to uh, be affiliated with some of these uh, community programs. So again, we're seeking sponsorships for Health for All Ages. Again, go to the Chamber's website, lemetachamber.org. There are still opportunities open. So April 1st is our deadline for getting these sponsorships secured so that you get the maximum full exposure in supporting these events. And also because we have a few things that we need to start printing and promoting. So for example, if you get your um, sponsorship confirmed for Lemonade Day Lamita 2022 by April 1st, then we can include you on in the backpacks that are given to all the kiddos. So April 1st is really the deadline to get on the printed materials and to get lined up for some of these other great programs that the Chamber is honored to do every year. Uh, we have a great foundation for these programs. We did them last year. We will continue to do them annually. They are our signature events. So once again, Submit your nomination for the Leadership and Community Awards. Consider sponsorship or at least attending the installation on April 21st. Uh, health and Wellness, Health for All Ages on May 1st. If you'd like to either have a booth or be a sponsor, we would welcome that. As well as Lemonade Day, Lamita happening in July. So April 1st is the critical deadline just to get those things locked in. So if you have any questions, please reach out to the Chamber. Uh, all of this information is available at our website, lamitachamber.org. If you are interested in Lemonade Day Lamita, please visit LemonadeDay.org forward slash Lamita. And that's where you can find more information about this awesome entrepreneur program for the kiddos. All right. Sorry I went a little long, but I just wanted to kind of give you the, the rundown. And I hope you all are staying safe and getting back to our new normal. And we look forward to seeing you in person at a chamber event near you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.